Seth? Zach, a couple last night, a couple of your teammates said, you know, we need to play better, we want to keep winning and things like that. Just what did you guys maybe address today, you try to button up that maybe wasn't the satisfactory to last night, from last night's game, I guess? Yeah. Um, I don't know if Coach wasn't too happy with the way we played, but um, at the end of the day, both teams played kind of bad. Um, I think just kind of all the news swirling around that games are getting canceled and teams are shutting down, might have crept its way in. Um, you know, it's, it's a little tough just to stay focused when you don't know if you're going to play or not. And you've got to be tested and you don't know who's coming back positive. I, I know they didn't test until like 4 p.m. yesterday. That's what the rumor was, but whatever it is, we just kind of got to get over that, I think. You know, hopefully we'll be able to play throughout the rest of the season, not have any cancellations. So, um, you know, it happened once, and we'll learn from it and, and move forward. Yeah. With uh, Gensel, Russ, and Boyle rejoining practice, even in a non-contact uh, capacity, just want to boost to they add uh, what kind of excitement is uh, surrounding them <laughs> coming back? It's nice to see uh, Jake smiling and laughing out there. Um, and Rusty, it's good to see those guys back. Um, anytime a guy goes down, it, it sucks. But um, you know, when it's a top six guy like, like Rusty or, or Gansey, um, it sucks even more. So it's nice to have him back, and we're really looking forward to him coming back and being healthy. Wes? So kind of going back to your first answer, uh, with only two games separating you guys and a three-day break over the holidays, is there almost a desire to just kind of get through these uh, two games? And how do you just kind of focus on, uh, you know, the day-by-day, -day, focus on the two games without looking at the bigger picture? Yeah, um, I think that's where the coaches come in and just, you know, we talked about it, just trying to reel us in and um, not look forward to, I guess, the way to say it, not look forward to going home and Christmas and stuff like that, just focusing on practice today, the game tomorrow, and then finishing off with the Flyers. Um, you know, you said it one day at a time, and that's the way we got to look at it. Yeah. Zach, uh, you're among the lead, lead, lead leaders in hits this year, and I'm curious what you might attribute that to, unless you just pay off the home scorekeepers, and that's what it's all about. No, I said it earlier, Tag is gone, so they're just giving them all to me. I'm just jumping into the glass, making it look like I hit somebody. And, no, um, I mean, not scoring right now, and that's kind of been the case the whole year, obviously, with one goal. Um, so that's kind of the way I have to make an impact, and and keep my spot in the lineup is just playing physical and, and hitting guys. So that's what I'm sticking to until the goals start coming out east. As a follow-up, is there something just, because um, I know in the past you dealt with injuries, this is the first offseason I've been for you could actually just focus on strength training as opposed to rehab. Yeah. Is there something to, to it that you just have the, you know, you don't have the physical limitations, you can just go out there and, and play the type of game you want to play? Yeah, definitely. Um, ever since getting the shoulder repaired, I mean, it's been, night and day, um, being able to play physical. And um, it was something that I know going into the bubble a couple of years ago, it was like, I just remember I would get in a scrub and cross check somebody and my shoulder would slip out. It was just like really tough mental block that you know at some point your shoulder's just gonna pop out. And um, not having to worry about that is really nice. Three more questions. 